Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Shimmers Education team. And don't forget, if you want a free paint when you are shopping in the Shimmers store online, make sure you leave my name in the comments section and you can get a freebie. So this is a collection from my stash. I decided to do a little stash busting for this page. This is from Simple Stories. It's called The Reset Girl. And I believe this was from last year. And I have a lot of it left over, so I decided to use it today. And I'm gonna use this black and white picture of my little thumb sucker there. I just thought she looked too cute. And so it's actually from, gosh, I think four or five years ago, but I still haven't scrapped it yet. So I bet you didn't know that I was gonna fussy cut these flowers out. Yes, you know I love to fussy cut, and when there's floral clusters like this, they just beg to be cut out and used as embellishments. And so I'm gonna take some time, I don't cut out all of them, and I'm not gonna make you watch this boring process, but um, there I've got several of them cut out. I cut out some big ones and some small ones, and I went through all of my shimmers paints and picked out several colors that I thought would coordinate. I don't wind up using all of them, but I'll let you know as I go which ones I'm using. Now these are creamies and inklings and so when you open them you can see they come hard in these little containers and all you need to do is spritz some water in there and let them sit for a few minutes and it's going to start to soften up the paint and it's going to make them a lot easier to use. So the longer they sit the, the creamier and the richer the color. So it um, just depends on the look you're going for. Now I'm going to do some die cutting here also to add to my floral clusters and I believe this is a floral cluster it was an exclusive from the Hip Kit Club. Gosh, I don't even remember, maybe a few months ago. But I just love the flowers, and I wanted to incorporate a bunch of flowers in different colors um, based on the colors that are in the collection. So the colors I'm using here for these green and blue flowers, the green paint is a Creamies, and it's called Refresh Mint. The blue is an Inklings, and it's called Me in Blue. The colors that I'm adding now are some sprays, and I use these quite frequently. The turquoise blue color is a Vibes, it's Jenny B. Blue, and then that greenish aqua color is Coloring's Well Blue Me Down. And those are two of my all-time favorite sprays. I go through them quite a bit. I use them on so many of my pages. So I'm going to do some bluish greenish flowers and then some pink, pinkish coral ones. The colors I've got going on now the pink in the container is a creamies called Piggy Pink, and then also a creamies called Trippin' in the Tropics, and it's more of a deeper coral. The spray that I have there is Vibes Sweetheart, and I'm just mixing and matching. This is the great thing about shimmers. If you, if you gather up several colors or you kind of add to your collection and get different shades and tones, you can mix and match and get some really fun shading on... Um, projects like this. Now this gold color is gorgeous. This is an Inklings and it's called Minor Minor 49er and it's very shimmery and very very pretty. And all of these paints they dry a little bit lighter than you see here. You can tell they're, they're just a little bit lighter but if you want to make them darker just go back over it with another coat. You are totally in control of how light or how dark the colors turn out. And like I said, if you let the, the water sit in the containers for longer, it's going to activate more of the paint and it's going to uh, make it a little bit thicker and therefore have a richer color. So this is kind of the look I was going for to begin with. I just wanted kind of a cascade of flowers and those little golden stems. And I just wasn't quite sure. I just wanted to play around with the design and see what I could come up with. But I'm going to use some white cardstock as my background here. And this is the Basil Marshmallow cardstock. It's pretty thick and it's very smooth. So um, what I'm gonna do today, uh, I did not use any gesso. I didn't feel like I needed it. Um, sometimes you want gesso, sometimes you don't. It just depends on, on the products and it depends on the paper, depends on the look you're going for. I'm gonna do some packaging technique and some splatters. And so I felt like I didn't really need to do a lot of blending. So the gesso didn't really need to happen. And plus, this paper is pretty thick. If I was going to use a thinner paper, the gesso would definitely be a help because it's going to sort of prime your page and get it ready for all the liquid. So I changed my mind on the design, and I think I'm going to do a cluster from the top left to the bottom right, kind of um, in a diagonal fashion. And I like how this looks, and I don't want to remove all those flowers. So this is kind of a thing that I do quite a bit when I have a lot of bits and pieces like this, is I go ahead and glue them all together as much as I can so then I can move that whole thing around. 
And so now it's like one big cluster and I don't have to worry about retucking everything in here and there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just adding a little dab of glue to kind of keep everything in place. And so when I start to work on my background, I can bring everything back and forth and see how it looks as I go. And some of the pieces are still loose and free, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do, since I've got so much pink and coral going on in those flowers, I want to bring some more blue to the background. So I'm going to go back to those two sprays and the refreshment color and sort of mix and match. I'm going to do this on some plastic packaging there. You saw me cut it. I think some thickers or some stickers or something came in this plastic. Always save your plastic if you like doing mixed media backgrounds or anything with the watercolor or anything like this because it's, it's perfect for uh, doing this technique. And like I said before, it's fun to mix and match the colors here. Um, you get a new, you get a whole new color, and you get some lights and some darks, and it's just fun. So I'm did, uh, doing some packaging here, and then just doing some splattering. This is something that I do all the time. I know a lot of people do this technique. Nothing new here, and you know it's fun to make a mess, and it's never perfect, and that's the beauty of it because you want it to look kind of messy and artsy. And then you're going to bring all those flowers in your photo and your embellishments and put them back right on top of all of this. And so it's going to totally look different. And a lot of it does get covered up. I know I say that a lot, but it does happen. It's just the nature of how it works. Some of it is going to get covered up. And that's why I like to bring it all back and lay it down on top. And as you can see there, most of it was covered. But I want some of it to show, obviously, or why else would I be doing it, right? So I'm going to go back and kind of extend the area where I did um, the packaging, so you can definitely see it more peeking out from behind those pictures. There you can see. So it looks like a big old chunk, but when you put the pictures back on, or the, the, the papers back on, it uh, changes the whole look of it. Now this I was a little unsure of. I wasn't sure if I'd made a mistake here and ruined this, <laughs> but I decided to go and add some pink to this. I really loved how it looked with just the blue, but I thought, the pink would be pretty, and it turns out okay. Um, this is the Vibes again. This is the Sweetheart, and I'm just dabbing it on, and you can see it looks really bold, and as soon as I dab it up with the napkin, lightens it up a little bit, and I like that. And sometimes you want it light, sometimes you want it dark, and it just, if you let it sit for longer and it dries, I think it's going to be darker, but if you dab it up pretty quickly, obviously it's going to be a little bit lighter. Now, that is a Vibes called Glorious Day, and it's more of a golden yellow, whereas this Minor Minor 49er is more of a shimmery gold. Both are pretty, but they're just different. Um, it's Like I said, it's fun to use a little bit of everything and, and kind of get different finishes. Some things are sparklier, sparklier? Oh, that's not a word. More sparkly. <laughs> sparklier. Sparklier! Let's make that a word. Than others like the creamies dry with a satin finish whereas the inklings have more of a shimmery finish sparklier oh my lord anyway let's move on <laughs> um yeah i make up words in my classes like when i teach at the gym somehow some way i'm gonna make up a word at least once a week and i don't even try it just comes out of my mouth and people are like that's not a word i'm like well it is now i made one so yeah Anyway, I'm going to glue everything down now, just a little bit in the middle, because I do want to come in with some thread, and I don't want the edges to be glued down anyway, because with flowers, I like the uh, petals to be curled up, so it makes them a little more dimensional, a little more realistic, and I actually pulled out four colors of thread, or maybe three, yeah, four, but I'm only going to use the pink. I felt like there was enough blue in the background, and there's enough coral in that deep coral red color. So I'm going to just use some pink thread here. And it's just very subtle, just a little added detail for texture and uh, adds to the little, you know, idea of the messy factor. Since you know I like to make a mess. It's what I do, right? I don't think I can make a clean layout. I don't think I could do it. I could do it, but I wouldn't be happy with it. So, but I love everyone else's clean layouts. It's, it's weird. I love it. Everyone else's style are, are, is awesome. That's the beauty of this hobby is admiring and being a fan of so many people's work that their style is so different than yours, but you yourself can't create that. Does that even make sense? Like, I love the look of clean layouts, but I don't think I could do it. It's just not in me. I have to get messy. 
at the end of the day, I have to have a bunch of goo all over my hands. I have to have glue or gesso or paint. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to continue on now and I'm going to start working on my embellishments. I'm going to glue a little bit of foam behind the picture there with some tissue paper. And then I pulled out all the stickers that go with this Reset Girl collection. And I'm just going to use a couple things. I'm not going to get too crazy here. I like how it looks with the floral clusters. I'm going to add a couple little birds just because they're cute and they matched. And I, I struggle with the title here because I realized where am I going to put it? There's not really a good spot for it. And I went into my stash of thickers. These are Amy Tan, I think. I'm sure you've all seen these. You probably all had them. You may be hoarding them like I am. But I tried this at first and I left it for a little bit. I didn't like it. I tried to make it kind of white on white and tilt it around that bottom cluster and I do add some of the hearts and I leave those but I am going to wind up changing the title I mean it looks okay but I just I didn't love it um yeah so when I don't love it then I can't leave it I have to go back and change it so I busted up into some of this chipboard from Bella Boulevard and I still want to do the white on white um and this is a smaller title and I'm going to sort of hide it and kind of tuck it in between um, some of the flowers and the leaves, but I just, I struggled with where to put it because, yeah, there wasn't, wasn't really a great spot to put it. So this is where it's going to wind up going. I'm going to leave it straight across instead of trying to tilt it or curve it. And it's going to be Cherish This. That's the name of this. Very, very, you know, boring, I guess you could say title, but that's okay. And I've said that before. You know, it's not a contest to see who could have the most creative title. If you have a creative title, go for it. But I just think it's a sweet picture. It's a sweet moment. And I have the title here, you know, on this chipboard sheet. And it works. It fits. So why not use it? And if it didn't work, then I wouldn't use it. Sometimes I'll cut my own on my Cameo or just use thickers. But I like to mix and match. I like the fact that Cherish is in a cursive font or a scripty font. And then this is just in a block font. And those are also Simple Stories stickers. Everything here is Simple Stories, except for Cherish. That's from Bella Boulevard, the chow chipboard. I'm going to add a little bit more gold. Now that I've let the water sit more in that minor, minor 49er, it's a lot thicker, and it shows up a lot better. It's just a, a good case of letting it sit for a little bit longer and let that paint thicken up. Now I'm going to come back in with those little stems that I painted gold earlier and glue those in. So this is a very textury layout, lots of dimension. It's fun to make. I really love working with flowers. And I'm actually going to leave all that white space. I dare wouldn't call this a clean layout, but for me, I guess, maybe it could be called a clean layout. <laughs> it's not clean, but there is a lot of white space left. And I didn't even intend for that to happen. It just did. I'm going to add some journaling here, and I think that's going to wrap it up. Yep, I add the journaling and the date. Uh, I didn't do any stitching on this, and I don't really feel like it needed it. But I love how the, the colors turned out. I love the effect of the shimmers in the background and the light, subtle colors of those flowers that I painted. And I love the dimension. Look at the leaves and the, the petals. Yeah, if you get a chance to fussy cut, you should do it. If you like layouts that have some raised up parts, then definitely go for that. Because it's fun to do and the results are always awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to have all of the names of the paints, again, listed over on the blog post on the Shimmers blog. So check that out. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.